Hey guys, welcome back to a little Anno 1800. All right, so we are back here in North Happing. We have several awesome things to talk about. The first and foremost is mods are working. Yay, we have lots of new mods again. We have all kinds of fun things that we can go and put in and make happen with our city. Uh, this is a new one right here, port ornaments, which, check these out. You can, we can put ships we can have like ships on, at dock and everything. And these are all the different ships in the game. Even a burning one. It is so cool. Very, very awesome additions right here. So we're going to be able to make some really, really cool looking ports. I am super excited about that. Look at these viewing platforms. Little bridges. Oh, they got people on them. Crates. Potted plants for the keys. Oh, no, this is just too cool. Oh, this is just too cool. And we have uh, cranes. We can have, we can put some cranes in. And some really nice-looking uh, assets right here for that. Oh, and they're all... Uh, oh, a bunch of them are animated, too. Oh, no, that's nifty. Oh, now that is just too neat right here. Yeah, I am... If you can't tell, I am super happy that we have these items in. This looks like the thing from Old Nate's Island. That's really cool. Uh, can we put that right here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's awesome. That is too cool. Um, that's a little odd up there. It's got a little thing sticking out. Hold on. scroll back okay there it was uh yeah this one right here with the diving veil that looks a little a little more decent but yeah so we have lots of new buildings that we can construct lots of new little fun items to uh, increase the look of our harbor areas this is called port bunch of all kinds market buildings people all kinds of all kinds of stuff like light poles and clocks yeah, there's going to be a lot. We, I have so many. This is the kind of stuff that I get super excited about. I love this kind of stuff. I love this level of uh, decorative ability. It really makes me happy to be able to have this kind of stuff. Because you can do really neat things with it. See? Now we have people selling their goods right on the edge of the road. So, yeah, lots of new port ornaments. That is going to be a fun thing right there. Uh, all the other mods are basically the same as they were from the last time. We have lots of new uh, fenced buildings, parks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, different parks right there, some city grass. Over here, we have a lot of the other ones, the, not, the uh, nom parks, nom ornaments, and the nom forest. So... Yeah, we've got all of that stuff ready for us here. And let's see, what else have we done? I have kind of been sitting here actually for about the past 45 minutes trying to get Chef Michael to show up, which he has still not shown up for us. Makes me sad. Uh, we did get... I did get an intoxicator for up here in uh, Escaping. Uh, we have a... She gives us... She, she gives us schnapps for in exchange for having a pub. So that takes care of our schnapps situation up there. Other than that, I did a little bit of expansion right here. I haven't done much. Uh, someone did ask if I am still cons you know, remembering the railroads. And yes, I am. I have them laid out right here. And it will come over here to the oil wells in this area. So I still have everything planned out and set aside for the railroads in the city right now. So that is not going to be a problem. The other thing we did is we built a uh, Brigantine, which is a ship that comes from a mod, and we have sent it off to start the Sunken Treasures expedition. So let's get this one started. A royal progress. It is no coincidence that the Trail of Roses left in Her Majesty's Wake has ended in this pretty continental town. Okay. So she's a queen. There must be a sign of her somewhere. A nearby castle or country residence, of course. So let's also use deduction to discern which royal the queen is visiting. You sneak upon proof it is her cousin Ernest. Okay. 
uh, let's talk to him and we say we want to help the queen. And he has agreed. There is to be a mask ball and a monogaski. You'll find her there. All right. Let's continue on then. Yeah, I want to go ahead and get Sunken Treasures unlocked, get Cape Trelawney unlocked, and we can start also building over there. And get and, and start figuring out what we're going to do with that town. As for North Hopping at the moment, I do want to spend a little time this episode, now that we have mods unlocked, working on the town itself and kind of getting things fixed up, changed up a little bit, and it, it just in general make the city look nicer. Because I'm ignoring canned food. Because I can. Oh, I was doing a quest for her. Let's, uh, that quest is finished. I want you to go sit back over here. Okay. Yeah, I do want to spend a little time right now kind of uh, decorating the town, changing things up a little bit since we have all of our new decorations and we have some of our storage buildings and stuff back. So let's just stop talking about it and let's do it. One thing I do notice that I need is under workers. We need the keys brought over here. Keys, quays, however you want to say it. Okay. I do want to put that there. And we're going to put a harbor warehouse out here as well instead. And we will get rid of that warehouse. There we go. So that right there will take care of the situation of not of needing a warehouse on the land. And in its place, we can do that. I also want to put these roads. Let's go ahead and get some of these started. Let's see. Okay, it will work right there. There we go. That right there bothers me, but I don't. I do remember seeing someone ask if it's possible for mods or mod authors to create something that will cover that up. Um, that would be fan frickin' tastic if any mod authors can figure out how to make that stop doing that. Because it is rather unsightly. Okay, looks like I can't go any further that way. <sighs> it's annoying me. Okay, we'll just leave it like that at the moment. Ooh, I bet. I wonder. Let's check out some of these harbor decorations here. Oh, yeah, I can. I can use these as billboards to kind of cover that up. Cool. Uh, thank you for 2,600 coins. Uh, what did we have here? We have benches. Okay. Footbridge billboards. Key billboards. I think that was a footbridge billboard I put down a minute ago. Yeah, it was. Okay. Just kind of scrolling through here real quick and kind of seeing what we've got to uh, mess with here, really. So we can put in a newspaper thing, people, carts, more people. That looks like the uh, flag from the Arctic. Okay. Uh. Let's maybe put in another market stall right there. Let's not use that one. Let's see what else we've got. Anaholic. Yeah, let's use the Anaholic billboard. We're just going to try to cover up this uh, little unsightly bit right here, if, if we can. Footbridge crates. Potted plants. Those are those are fun looking. Okay, so looks like they want to go on the edge right there. So we have shrubs and some trees. 
Huh. Well, these are just, this is just so much fun. I love stuff like this. We'll put a tree right there in a pot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yes, 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 I'm here. What do you want? Uh, the Masquerade at Monogoski. Following Prince Ernest's advice, you travel by train along the sparkling Cote Turquoise. Uh, Cote Turquoise. Turquoise bleh. Yeah, I kept trying to say that funny. To a grand station in the sophisticated principality of Monogoski. Prince Ernest gave you his own invitation to the casino, but you'll also need a costume. Uh, let's try to make a costume out of our own. Cunning and resourceful, you brush slyly past the casino doorman, and once inside, you your best bet uh, for finding the queen. Let's try to mingle. Your knowledge of royalty does not desert you. Her carriage has sped off, has set off at speed. You wave down in the cab and get in. Okay, let's continue on then. Now we can put in, yeah. We can do some stuff like this, although that one is like in the water, so that's not going to work. Here, we go. maybe do something like that. Then let's actually extend that out. Can I? Oh, you can. You can just move it. That's that's nice to be able to just move it. Okay. Cool. Now, let's see about maybe making some sort of port right here. Little bitty fishing boats, and there were people in the water. Did you catch that? There were little people in the water. Steamboats. Um, you know what? Let's use this one right here. little ship at anchor right there. I like it. I like it. Let me move it out a little bit. Uh, port, more port buildings. I think it maybe we're going to kind of stick with this idea of like a little markety type area right here. There we go. That's nice. I like it. What else do we have? Okay, so walkways. More of those. More of those. Yeah. There we go. It's like a little market area right there, kind of next to the docks and everything. I like that. You know what, we'll just leave that right there. It's fine. The people okay. Celebrate your leadership. Nice little dock area right there. I kind of like that. That looks kind of nice. Okay, you can never have enough of them. Isn't that the truth? Uh, statues and fountains. We didn't look at this. We have uh, the lion statue, the equestrian statue, some with trees. A uh, gazebo with Nate's gigantic head up inside it. <laughs> uh, a very nice gazebo. It's a very nice gazebo. Oh, I like that one. Another uh, statue, a big golden horse statue. A diving bell fountain. Standard fountain and a small gazebo. And then just your typical, uh, some of your other standard East type stuff. I like those. Those look cool. Oh, now look at that. Now that is cool. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, we're definitely going to be making use of that in the, uh, in the capital. All right. Nice. Yeah, I didn't even, uh, didn't even look at those to see what they had. Lots of just uh, people and stuff. Alright. I don't want to go too overboard with some of that stuff. You know, I, I do just want to kind of look and see what all was possible with it. Looks like we've got some just odds and ends. Let's put a cherry blossom tree over there. 
Kind of brighten up our little waterfront right there. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's see. This little uh, space right here. Let's see. What can uh, what can we put right there? None of those port ornaments will work, so we need to actually go over here. Uh, we could just put in a fountain. That would be okay. Or just a uh, statue. We just put a statue in right there. I'm okay with that. Just a simple little statue. Now. Let's see, what's next? What needs to be moved? Uh, basically everything needs to be moved and re redesigned. That That might be something I don't do on camera just because it can take me forever what do we got here the cape of trelawney let's continue the pursuit you reach the next bay up from monogoski you can try to call out to the queen or bar elsborough vessel uh let's try to commandeer a nearby vessel okay so apparently we have to meet her at the cape of trelawney here we go Our nation has lost its pride, but pride can be restored. This place, Trelawney, is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rival, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney, yet all the spoils remain in the lap of Poseidon. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the deck, along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell Father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here, perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts we see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it, and find the scepter, and I shall designate you Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. All right, guys, we're I back in Trelawney. But it promises to become the largest capital of my empire. All right. Well then, we are here finally. We are back in Trelawney. It took a little while, but we are back. Oh, just looking at this makes me sigh. Just thinking how much work we put into the last one. Oh, we have so much work ahead of us here too. But it should be interesting enough. Let's go ahead and settle on Trelawney here. So. Now, now that we're here, I do want to kind of say that we're not going to forget the old world. We will be building in the old world. I will be continuing to build in the old world. I'm working on it, lady. Hold on. She's going to talk a bunch right here. Okay. Let's dump that overboard. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. Well, let's just say... Right here looks good to me. 120 influence. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. That was extraordinarily expensive to build. But we have it, so... The old world is pro most likely now going to start. I'm going to start filling up the islands with populations and everything, doing a lot of I stuff there. An impish little man, dredging up bits and pieces. He may be exactly what we require. Okay, are we done talking, everybody? Can I talk, please? Ah, <sighs> unifier influence. Uh, what does that one give me? 
Okay, so now we have 100 workforce on every island, so it's another 50, so that's good. So anyways, yes, the old world is going to now be like a center of population, mostly. We're going to have all of the, we're going to eventually fill up all these islands with their own cities. Uh, everything from, you know, cosmopolitan cities, lots of people, lots of investors and engineers, to quaint farming towns that supply the islands around them. In Cape Trelawney, we're going to build a, I mean, it's going to be a big capital. You know, it's going to have a fair number of investors on it. Uh, it might only have investors on it. Maybe engineers, too. I might let the engineers live here. But for the most part, it is going to be a, you know, very uber wealthy island of investors, some engineers, a lot of parks, open spaces, botanical gardens, zoos, and of course, the palace and the World's Fair will also be located here. Uh, that is all going to be on this island. So I'm going to make it a very large, wealthy island that has a, just all the comforts that the uh, hobnob snobby people might want. So to get that started, let's get a bunch of farmers. <laughs> to get it started with a bunch of hobnob snobby people, let's start with the farmers. This is going to be as much of a planned community as I possibly can make it. So we'll see how, how that goes. It will be a planned community, so there will be quite a bit of symmetry. Um, not like a ton of symmetry, but there will be a decent amount of symmetry to the island. Because, you know, we want it to show off the wealth and power of the empire. And the best way to do that is to have a nice orderly but interesting looking city here okay let's drop off some more wood here you can go right there let's get started with uh, a couple of lumber or lumberjack huts here Okay. Uh, you know what? If it please an all-powerful deity to place me on the throne, it shall certainly please you. Game save. Okay, let's do let's do it like this. Okay, yeah, let's do it like that. Um, we will just put in a small... Eh, that, that thing is kind of expensive to build. Let's just build a basic little warehouse to get started. Ready the ropes. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go see Nate. Get that started here. Let's get these people started with some of the goodies that they're going to be demanding of me. I'm actually going to put this down here to start with. Every field has its weed. And they also want to go ahead and have work clothes, so we will do that. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to make this one look as pretty with some of this uh, farmer stuff because this stuff is not going to stay here. As soon as we unlock commuter piers, I am going to be moving all of them, uh, all of them off of this island and onto their own islands. Welcome to Trelawney, graveyard to thousands, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> what your queenie was? Yeah. All right, there's our diving bell. I do love Nate. I, I do. I love Nate to death. He's so fun. Okay, let's dive here. 
think I got this far by throwing stuff away? Bring that rubbish to me. I'll polish it up. Tied up the scrap. Not half bad, eh? Okay. Good deal. Would you want it? Try to come in back up with nothing but scrap. Watch this is about to get so expensive. I forgot how expensive that was. Um Yeah. King Jewel will do. Begin the turn. Okay. Let's go right here for a moment, and let's go back up here and focus on these guys for a moment. My plan is to kind of, as quickly as I can, get this place up and running. Right, fire station, because we know they're going to need it. That, because we know they're going to need it. And we just wait for some of the uh, the wood to come in. Yeah, I want to get Cape Trelawney built up as quickly as possible. I'm super excited to see the t palace, and I know you all are too. So I want to get there as quick as I can. One final look. All right, what well, we got? Sewing machines run out. Yeah, I've got to work on that in the old world. Censorship is not. All right, come on. Hello. Oh, okay. Cutscene time. Is that a mermaid? They look like a mermaid. I am Vashko Olivaya. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Juao of Akaroa. That's La Corona to be correct. We have come only to pay our respects beside the grave of a once great empire. Sure. It's obvious why they're here. It's the same reason we're here. For the emblematic power that scepter will give whoever owns it. We'll find it, Queenie. Feeble though they may be. So I'm afraid you'll have to rely on wits. We'll find it, don't worry, Queenie. We'll find your scepter. Let's dive there. This waterlogged log is in a terrible state. Did you not bring any art to store us with you? Okay. Now we have our first main quest we got to work on, and that's to get to 500 artisans. Okay, let's get these people taken care of. An explosion in one of your factories. Another explosion at a Schnapps distillery. Let's go check on that. Uh, it was up here. Okay, well, we have fire protection up there. So it's a fine. Okay, let's get the next part, which is going to be the sausages. How did I do that again? Was it like this? I already forgot. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it was. Just like so. And we need clay. Where is all of the clay? Okay, so we've got clay there. Clay there. There. And there. Okay. So it doesn't look like it's actually moved from uh, where it was at before. So we will just, uh, we'll just choose this one. And I would like to just go ahead and drop off that. Okay, good deal. She used to.
And go ahead and blueprint down these guys. Need eight for that. We lack the a few murmurings. So we need to get 150 to unlock the need for bread, and then of course the uh, soap and. Uh, I don't think he'll buy soap, so we won't. So you know, there's no, there's no point in overproducing it here. I've uncovered a meaty opportunity. Uh, yes, I will do that for twenty thousand. Okay, so we have to use the echo locator. Uh, what is this one? Okay, that increases the salvage amount. That gives us the salvager stuff right there as well. I, you, I, I doesn't, I thought it gives me a echo locator device as well, though. Pretty sure it gives one to me at some point. And I could have swore there was a way to look on the map to see where you had to dive for that stuff. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I know he gives you a quest that gives you an echo an echo sounder. I am almost positive he does. Finding artifacts, finding machines, scrap amounts. Because that takes sand and steel. He gives, he sells steel. I guess we can go get a little bit of sand from the old world and bring it back. We'll do that. That'll work. Oh, we've got enough to un to put the brick factory in production now. And just do a little keep expanding right here. Game save. Okay. And yes, before anybody says it, I am thinking about railroads. I have not forgotten. I will be thinking about railroads, so don't you worry. It is in my mind. Yeah, I'm not even fooling with schnapps right now. I just don't even care. They're not going to be around long enough for me to worry about it. They're still pretty happy, so it's fine. Get a few more of those built. celebrate your leadership. Let's head back over to the old world for a few because there's still plenty to do over here while we wait for that. The first thing I need to do is I need to... No, oh God, you're so ridiculous. Is I need to unlock the sewing machines. So let's get that started. Okay, we'll get that there, we'll put that there, and that there. Uh, in terms of coal, we have a coal plant, uh, a coal mine rather, not a coal plant, but a coal mine right there. Okay, there's that. This right here, I think I can uh, justify putting in a one of these guys. can also probably move this dude right here around a little bit. There we go. Now they're both at 100. Alright. This thing right here 
is quite expensive and it's also quite polluting not my not my favorite building but it is a necessary building it also needs to go like right here It can go right there for right now. Good deal. Oh, that actually kind of helped that because that gave them a connection right here. Now, we do need some more lumberjack huts. We can uh, go up here to place one of those. That'll work. And last but not least, a sewing machine factory, which would go lovely right here where that's at wonderful now we can finally make sewing machines and everybody will be happy and there was much rejoicing from the crowds because they will finally have sewing machines can't help you on the canned food right now but I'll give you the sewing machines because you that does make me a lot of money Let's crank that up for a moment. Start getting that uh, steel and the uh, wood in from all of this. I don't have all I need for my canvas. Your ship has returned from its voyage. All right, the barkentine is here. Let's go over here. I think I can pick up from that depot. No, 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 I can't. Not that depot. I could pick up from over here. Well, see, I think I have some sand. Do I have sand? Let's check. I have very little sand. Let's uh, get these people some more sand here, then. Get them a little more sand. So I will need a little bit to get that first echo locator device. I think it was five that I needed. And I can go buy five steel from him. Four. And come on. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Five. Okay. Let's send him back to Cape Trelawney now. Let's check that quest. And let's go to Cape Trelawney and check on that quest. We have 20 minutes. Should be okay. Uh, let's put that in here for right now. That'll work. Now, are they getting... Yeah, they have the demand for sewing machines fulfilled now, so we are now making a bit more money. Wonderful. Uh, any update on Chef Michael? Although I couldn't afford him right now because he is super expensive. Yeah. I think Chef Michael costs like 375000 I'm pretty sure that's how much he costs. An explosion in one of your factories. Oh, all the explosions. Let's, uh, let's put in another fire station. One was an, one covered the whole town, but it wouldn't hurt to have another one, I guess. All, the credit for any fines I make here. all right, I will let you settle an island. I'll let you settle one island, lady. Just, just the one. Okay, that's that fixed. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Fleet ready. I love the fire All right, let's send everybody down here. Go pick up that back. stuff that we need. Um, let's see what's next that we're gonna have to have. The cherry atop our beautiful no, green. there's so many little things I need to do. All right, let's slow down for a second here. Five. Okay. Alright. Oh, nope. I want to give sand to him. Oh, God, seriously, too far away. That is one of the more annoying things. Is trying to switch stuff between ships. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, not that. Transmute. Okay, let's get that. A competitor raised a settlement. Good deal. Bring her 
Now we can go do the quest. Ooh. Okay, let's slow it down because now we have bombs everywhere. We'll watch for that. There it is. Any other bombs in my way? Ooh, sh shoot! A ship was destroyed. Uh, seriously? The bombs are right on top of it. <sighs> Crap. If anything's happened, I'm New orders. I bet you anything I can't get that back. Okay, that was really stupid. The bombs were right on top. Yeah. <sighs> okay, well, I'm aggravated now. That was really stupid. There were two bombs right on top of the, the spot where you're supposed to go. And I, I couldn't avoid them because the ships have such a small turning radius. Well, we're not going to complete it, so might as well just trash it. All right, well, I'm mad about that. Oh, shut up, you. The game spawned with two bombs right on top of the thing, and you don't have time to turn around. It's not my fault. <sighs> Whatever. It is what it is. I'll, uh, I'll, f I'll fix it later. Anyways, that was that was highly aggravating. But, you know, whatever. I'll, f I'll fool with it later and I'll get it fixed. Okay. Let's get some bread going. Again, don't pay any attention to how terrible the layouts are going to be for this. Because it is all temporary. Fields might help. Them fields might now shit it. We put our love. Uh, did I go for four? I went over four, yeah. There we go. And we can go right there with it. Give me a flour mill and a bakery right there to get started. Let's go back over here. Get more sand. Might as well just go get quite a bit more. Go back to Cape Trelawney. <laughs> it's so stupid. Ah, uh, I can't believe that. That was so dumb. Whatever. Let's check on our, all of our stuff. We are pretty good on everything right now. Getting kind of close on sausages again. Beer is going down. We do need to uh, deal with the beer situation, it looks like. All right, slow things down for a moment. Because uh, we're going to have to put a cut in the video, actually. Boom, gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to put a cut in the video right here. We're almost at 45 minutes. Had a lot going on. Very, very busy episode. Trying to... We got to see some of the new uh, decorations right here, which I'm so excited about really, really putting those to good use in Cape Trelawney and later on in our other cities. And the uh, big redesign that we're going to do here on North Happing. So we're going to be using lots of new ornaments, lots of fun stuff happening. Cape Trelawney's been unlocked. We have started our little settlement up here. And hopefully get up to investors as quickly as humanly possible so we can unlock that awesome palace and see how that thing's going to look. So hope you will join me the next episode, and we'll see you then. Take care, everyone.